This is the last house on the left in 1972. Released August 30th, 1972. A pair of teenage girls are headed to a rock concert for one's birthday. While trying to score marijuana in the city, the girls are kidnapped by a gang of psychotic convicts. Directed by Wes Craven. Written by Wes Craven. Here's the cast for you. Sandra Peabody as Mary Collingwood. Lucy Grantham as Phyllis Stone. David Hess as Krug Stillo. Fred J. Lincoln as Fred Podowski. Jeremy Rain as Sadie. Mark Scheffler as Junior Stillo. Richard Towers as Dr. John Collingwood. Cynthia Carr as Estelle Collingwood. Ada Washington as Ada Chicken Coop Truck Driver. Marshall Anchor as the Sheriff. And a very young Martin Cove as the Deputy. And Ray Edwards as the Postman. What, what can I say about this classic from 1972? This is one of those grungy, creepy, weird... It's actually an amazing flick from 1972. It was probably a start of, of that rape horror. I don't quite remember the term they used for that. It doesn't really matter. Very interesting movie. Um, very interesting cast of characters. It's good acting, um, good scenery, um, some um, pretty gruesome, I should say pretty traumatizing rape scenes, you know, for it being in 1972. It's a good story. Um, the ending was quite interesting. Um, this thing will always be a cult classic, I think, for eternity. It was one of its kind back in 1972. So, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this by now. Uh, basically, it's about two girls that, like you said, they go into town to try and buy some marijuana. They get kidnapped, kidnapped by a bunch of psychotic thugs. And all hell breaks loose for the ladies. You know the story. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's well worth a watch. Make sure you buy it. Don't rent it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. You probably can't even rent it. So this is gruesome. And I give this movie a 8 out of 10. And that ain't no groovy slam. So, if you don't own a copy, it's best that you do. It's well worth it. Groovy Kills in Blood. Groove's Reviews.